Decades ago, a young Harry Case took a hike that changed his life forever. He stumbled onto logged off old growth forest. I got so disgusted I decided I was going to buy a piece of property. It was never going to be logged. Harry was just 18 when he purchased this 176 acre forest on Whidbey Island. The year was 1947 and the land went for five bucks an acre. Over the years, Harry has refused to cash in by selling to developers. This is always going to be forest land, forest forever. I don't even figure what it would be worth cut up into tracks. It's a horrible thing, because it would ruin my day. 62 years ago, the Whidbey tract was young. Most of the hemlock firs and pines just saplings. Harry and his trees grew up together. He older, they taller. Now at age 81, Harry's forest towers above him. Well, there's order coming in every place. Now Harry loves music, whether it's playing a homemade didgeridoo or the trombone professionally for years in the Seattle Symphony. I had to wire the cages up because they, the squirrels get there. Today, Harry's favorite music is probably birdsong. He always brings treats for his winged friends. Oh. In order to ensure his forest forever, Harry's donated the property to the Whidbey Camino Land Trust. His grandson, Sean Connor, will carry on after he's gone. It's, it feels like a privilege, you know, um, to be able to carry on what my grandfather started. So now Harry can be at peace, feeding the birds, playing his didgeridoo, and walking his beloved forest, knowing it will never fall to the axe. I feel like I've stopped progress. And in this case, that's a very good thing. I didn't mumble too much today. No. Only a little bit. <laughs>